Today's word of the day comes from the book of John, chapter 3, verse 30. John, chapter 3, verse 30. And John the Baptist said it clearly, He must increase, but I must decrease. Amen. He must increase, but I must decrease. Amen. When Jesus said, I myself can do nothing, but what I hear from my Father, that's what I say or do or judge, whatever the case. Um, the Apostle Paul got the revelation that in his flesh there was no good thing. And John the Baptist knew it as well. Uh, we and our own ideas, our own will, all of that needs to decrease so that Jesus becomes the head and he is glorified and we get blessed because of it. We get in the way. Our flesh gets in the way. And we must decrease and he is the one who can help us do that. Jesus said in Matthew 8 verse 20, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Amen. Interesting that John the Baptist was beheaded. Uh, and that is really a symbolic of what needs to happen in our lives. Our head is full of our own ideas of what we need, what we, the way that we think that things should be. But Jesus is looking for those who are willing to have our heads removed and let him be the head of our lives, knowing that he knows better what we need. He loves us more than anyone else, and he, he will do what's right for us. And so when we decrease, he takes control and then he's glorified. Many people are blessed, and so are we, um, because we are willing to lay our lives down for the sake of the brethren. And so this is, 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 is the truth. We must decrease. Uh, even Apostle Paul uh, said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2, For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. He had all the training of a Pharisee. He was very educated in the ways, but he let it all go. He counted all as garbage to let Jesus be in control and guiding his every thought and his every word. Uh, and that is what we all, uh, I believe God wants for all of us. John chapter 12, verse 25, Jesus said, He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Amen. Trying to stay in control of what we think, how we think things should be, and uh, trying to guide and, and control all of that is ultimately a loss. But when we understand, hating our life doesn't mean we hate everything. And what it means is we know that his plan, his ways are better than ours. And if we let go of our life and let him be in total control, we'll keep it for eternal life and we'll be blessed. We'll find rest for our souls because we, have, we can let go of trying to, to be at the, in the driver's seat. It's much easier to be a passenger than a driver. A driver gets weary and tired, but, um, but not our driver, not Jesus Christ. He never grows weary. But we will if we're trying to be in control. But if we're a passenger, we can recline and, and re find rest for our souls. So, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this word today and help us truly understand this and help us put this desire in our heart to truly want to decrease so that you are increased in our lives the way you created man to be in the beginning, to be in your image, to be your avatar on, on earth, to be representative of you. And the way that's going to be happening is for you to be in control so that the world would see you through us. But help us, Lord. Help us let go of control. Help us really want your will over our own. And we know we and the people around us will be blessed beyond measure. We thank you for this word today. We give you all glory and honor and praises in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord.